Peace. Yeah, what's up, everybody? 12th uh, West we Coast already, Highlife. We already, we already did an intro. We're doing it right yeah, now. We did it yeah, we're doing universe. a second intro. No, we we're we're dropping what? double drop. Yeah. Yeah. Two intros? <laughs> yeah. We That's a up. first. <laughs> 2D. Yeah, you know. 2D. We'll, we'll 2D. give you a number to call and you can text with you in like fact, better. <laughs> it's uh it's September, school has started. Uh things are back. Not for in, any of us. Fact that, <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm done. No, <laughs> none of us are in school. Well, yeah. We do it's work at school good. though. A different school. A school for the gifted. A school for those who love comedy. A school for those who kill comedy. And a school for those who are ready to get high. On some fun shit from the West Coast High Life, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Putting a lot of pressure. Ben's face looks I like know. he just killed his puppy dog. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny that you mentioned killing comedy. And, and <laughs> there you go. Well done. Uh, well, full circle. Yes, all right. All right, all right. So my, my name is Declectic. Uh, to my left is... We did this already, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You didn't get around to me, of course. Yeah. Well, so I'm Mark Hovey. You couldn't figure yeah. out the right, and then I was going to go to the left. At Hovey, bro. Yeah. Oh, I, I heard uh, heard some shit, actually. What's so that? F- Fudge is uh, a big Twitter guy. He's got a lot of posts out on uh, on various oh, yeah. things. Oh, my God. I, I, I know think, there's a bit of a contest now because Mark you, may have just surpassed you I in did. tweeters or followers. Pardon just me. Happened. Really? How many do you have? Today, I got 40. Really? Yeah. Whoa. I'm that's pretty good. Hanging around at 37. You tweet a bunch of bullshit, too. Hobie bros. Yeah. Tons of bullshit. <laughs> Nothing shit but bullshit. What that's you, really what, what tweeting is for. He's just not as offensive as you. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. He's <laughs> <laughs> got more real followers, too, I bet. There's that There's that uh, website there's now you can fakes. test. There's can, definitely a few You can fakes. test to see. Like, we don't need to test because we've got, like, 100 people. We can yeah, tell who I'm the, like... I'm not concerned. All the fake ones, come on. Come on to my site. Just yeah. Make me look awesome. Whatever. Add to my Twitter this ratio. This guy's got value. so many hot chicks following him. What's up with that? All the babes. <laughs> Toby Casablanca. That will let you watch the masturbate for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of, I mean, Part I don't know. Deal. I kind of have mixed feelings about the whole cam porn thing. Like, it's good that these women have a new stream of revenue. And it's good that we don't see women on the corner begging for abortion money. But it's like every fucking mediocre looking woman with a laundry room and a computer is now fingering herself for five dollars a minute. <laughs> and true. it's just I don't know. Yeah, like, well they're making a lot of money though. They are making a lot of money. But when you can see pictures of the background of like the kid and like kids' toys <laughs> and shit, it's just like yeah. get your fucking <laughs> life together, you dirty whore. <laughs> You're, you're embarrassing your fam. You're embarrassing how much yourself. They, like an average one makes. No, probably not that much. Like the average ones are pretty gross. Like Fifteen bucks an hour or something. I wonder oh, if I there's like know. a, five, a mother and five daughter viewers. scenario. Uh, give me ten oh. bucks. Oh. Okay. Uh, can I help you find it? Uh, yes, no. actually, I have. Oh yeah, you know where that is. Yeah. Error, 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 error. Record okay. scratch. Let's keep going. We just got interrupted yeah. by yeah. some caterers looking for some catering stuff. I think stuff. it's paused. I think it's paused, Ben. Bring us back. Wait, you think you're so good that we can't do this without you? Yeah. yeah. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. They changed the screen too, so we got to really lock those doors. So Here you are looking for food and <laughs> you're like, this should be being recorded. We're hungry. Look, this is fucking crazy. Get out of here. Oh, holy shit. I'm not. Uh, I don't know how to stream this. Get rid of that shit. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you recording again? Yeah. So we just got interrupted by a bunch of fucking caterers coming into a theater asking if there was food and drink shit available for them to pick up. Like, one, no, you're never allowed to eat in a fucking theater. They have a sign that says no food and drink allowed. And two, you're just you're just gonna walk in through here where you can hear people talking. What, like? Yeah, and we're on stage and we're lit right now. Wha- how would you feel if there was an orgy taking place here, lady? She'd probably try and join in. Well, I mean, if someone, <laughs> if they. <they're laughs> I'm glad she didn't. I'm sure. I'm glad there's not an orgy going on. Right now. I wonder if there's uh, if, if orgies have like like a guy and a girl that just work the door and determine if you're attractive enough to enter the orgy. That's a good point. There's probably bouncers at, at like real orgies. <laughs> Sorry, bro, you can't come in, but your wife can. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. She goes in with no hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> Later, brah. <laughs> can't get in. You're gonna have to leave me the keys. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, shine your fucking light through us. God damn you. Jesus Christ. I hate people, man. Oh, now we got the house lights on and our stage lights off. This would be like the record, sc- record scratching at the orgy. Like everyone would just stop fucking and wait for those people yeah. to leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing this isn't being broadcast out to the whole. Can you imagine that feeling of dread when, um, you know, you dip your hand in the fishbowl of, of like keys to pick up and you get that oh key man. and like it's like someone that's just hideously attractive or the 300 you, pounder with the unibrow in the corner or you just hate her. <laughs> 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 like, like there's no way you, you couldn't even like hate fuck an orgasm out of this. You, you just still have to be like so much. You still have to be like, hey, we're going to hate do this. Lovers want to oh, love. Dude, why you got to be interrupting with stupid shit like that? We're <laughs> talking about orgies here. Oh, well, the, the d- lights have dimmed on the Serious orgy. matters. Yeah, we, we have to hide from the other orgy goers. Should we keep the lights off? Except you, Darcy. <laughs> Darcy's face is illuminated. That's kind of cool. Perfect target for the orgy hey. goers. What's going on with our lighting? Uh, I was just using preset two. Yeah. Preset two. Here we go. <laughs> God, we should, we should just like lock the doors. <laughs> or no, we just Bar- have barricade them. We just with like all these chairs. Like we just say, we have a guy bodyguard and a girl bodyguard that determines if these people are attractive enough to come listen to our podcast. Fair enough. We should sell tickets at the fucking door. There was definitely one of three there worthy oh yeah. of the honor. Yeah, it was dark, but I saw I saw an outline. <laughs> Wasn't it all dudes? <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> only one dude. Yeah, one dude. Scary. Two ladies. I but saw a couple uh, ladies waddle in. There, no, there was one waddle and one real. No, like we could charge. Real deal. We could charge like a buck a head. Yeah, a buck ahead. What else would they get though? Uh, they'd have they'd, they'd have like here. video games going on beside them. No, no video games. That's too distracting. Yeah, like I don't like For I don't even like does. it. If they could just watch what we're doing on the big screen, like oh, it's fairly easy actually. There. I like could I could have it on a TV right there in like a second. Have we like an under the table camera that you could see our dicks with. <laughs> We call it the fishbowl camera. <laughs> yeah, but you have to pay extra money to see that camera, and you, it's like sequestered Special in a part section. of the auditorium. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. If we could like sit here and control it all and be like camera one, camera two, camera and have four. like show the audience themselves and stuff like that, that'd be kind of cool. Put yeah. effects on them, make them look trippy. Yeah. Whoa, man! Yeah, all like four of them. The dick cam <laughs> seems like a good way to get some extra money and, uh, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like you know, filter out which one of the chicks would be it's down. Pretty to innovative. Fuck. When did those turn into chat roulette? Because you think, like, <laughs> if, a, if a girl's paying, like, extra money to look at your dick for Chat roulette's hour, free, bro. She'll probably do stuff with it. Chat roulette's free, right? So it's your competitor right there because it's dicks all day mm. for free. Mm. Yeah, oh, but this, this isn't dicks. You paid a dollar. To go, you, <laughs> you paid a dollar for these dicks. <laughs> you this paid is a dollar to get in, dicks. and then I guess, like, five dollars to see, uh, like, our dicks under the table. <laughs> Yeah. And, like, and, and like I said, like dicks. if a girl's willing to pay like an extra five dollars <laughs> to look at your dick for an hour, she'll probably do stuff after. And there's like plenty of like rooms and stuff. <laughs> Lots of rooms in this. <laughs> Lots of rooms. Lots of rooms. We could just turn this into a brothel. The bathroom, yeah. the bathroom yeah. actually <laughs> has a shower. I didn't know <laughs> that. Either way, the late night uh, <laughs> theatrics. There's yeah. actually a bathroom <laughs> in the men's shower, so so we're turning this into a. There is. Yeah, I guess two then. So if you like crunch out a real ugly dump, you can always just. Skip, shower off. Skip the wiping and yep. rinse off with the shower. Roll right in. We're turning this place Swipe into down a with grotto. Uh, That's your plan. A bunch of paper Probably. towel and then give uh, the janitor the opportunity to jump into that tomorrow. <laughs> That'll be fantastic. No paper thanks. towels. Ooh. Paper towel. Yeah. yeah. What are the? Why are the paper towels getting involved? Paper yeah. towel. Close it. <laughs> Clean yourself up. Paper not towel. The worst, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You just let all the air out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Well, so marijuana was fun. I like smoking weed. I don't know what you're talking about. Never smoked it before in my life. Trying to get have game this gainful is not employment. This the West Coast high life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is not we the high life. We discouraged. We met in the figurative sense, like like you're living the high life, like it's good out here on the West, <laughs> right? But you're also high for your entire <laughs> life. Get high. Because when you problem? know when you win when you won our lottery. Yeah, you'd you probably were set. you'd have enough for like a, mil- for life. a million beers. Yeah, <laughs> what was the what was the we we're just gonna charge like a buck for a ticket, mm-hmm. and then cap it off at a hundred and keep like seventy five bucks or something tickets? like that. 
Do you no. guys have beer fest no. tickets? No, you can't get beer fest tickets unless you get them within like five beer days. That's too late. So um, no one has. No, yeah, they get sold out pretty quick. Fuck. Is that this weekend? Yeah. I yeah. could try. I could probably I, try I, to jump the fence. Yeah, yeah I don't. Yeah, that's that's not too successful. You need because they give it. you a cup. Oh. It's a high. Fence I'll bring my own too. cup. No, it's a special beer fest cup. Yeah. It's a little. It's a smaller. And it's a high cup, fence. You know? like the, I'll you know, steal a cup. I'm gonna jump be the high, fence. You're going to be looking up and you're going to be like, oh man, that's higher than. It's I a thought. pretty good venue there, actually. Mm-hmm. The uh, Royal Athletic. Royal Ath- it was yeah. fun last year. Yeah, it, it was is. A lot it's of fun. always it's always fun. I got to go to one. Hung over by ten. At the end, when you have extra tokens, you're just drinking so hard, so you don't get you don't have to leave with extra tokens. Feels like a waste. Ben when did these stage uh, lights get so bright? How did they get so bright? When, d- when did they? Just now? Uh, just now? I don't know. Do we have a special setting before? We could, we could uh, set we some could up, I guess. We could turn the I board on. Ho- Hovi, what does your shirt say? They might Underneath have. there. Yeah. Take it off. The it unveil. Honorary Dimmer Troll. Dimmer Troll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I am also an honorary a Dimmer a Troll. Yeah. Uh, really? Is Cam one, too? He yeah. is. Yeah. We liked smashing dimmers. Yeah. Oh, destroying them. We had these really old, old ones that were built in the 70s, and uh, they're huge pieces that you had to sh- slide in and out kind of deal. Yeah. So they didn't and, work uh, the, Some of the busted ones we just smashed. I'm sure Dallas saw, uh, shot them with a gun. Yeah. We can hope he shot them with a gun. That's awesome. Hey, that needs to be recorded next time that happens. Gunshots? Yeah. Shoots, oh, shoots a tank. firing range? Yeah, we got to take some I think footage. I'm shoot the West Coast High Life goes to the firing They're range. shooting with guns. <laughs> yeah, with we have guns. like a, a month left of, of any kind of camping opportunity before it gets yeah, too cold. Yeah. Or too wet. We'd have to find a time where we could go out. We just got to buy the ammo, basically. <laughs> well, that's easy to find at Walmart. Yep. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, hey, <man>. buddy. <laughs> what you can buy ammo at no, Walmart here? Pretty Can't sure. buy nothing. You can't get everything at Walmart, man. You I thought you, could, I thought you had to go to like, sports traders oh, or Island Outfitters or something. Got it, bro. They also sports have traders? It. They also have it, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure sports traders is licensed <laughs> to yeah. sell ammo. They've yeah. been around forever, right? Anyone can buy Never the ammo, about too. Anyone can buy ammo. I only get weights and stuff from there. I got a curl bar from there. Pretty good. Cool story, bro. Yeah. Shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> Were you rocking the we shake weight? Uh, like out front of uh, a McDonald's while people at the drive thru and you just turn the other way at the bus stop with the shake weight like in front of you. <laughs> so it's like looking I'm like, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have you guys seen the machine that shakes you? You step on it. It looks like a scale, but it vibrates. No. And all these women are jumping on them and just like. Yeah. So it's like I've a, a of jiggling. Them. Apparently a yeah. self Sibian, yeah. like a whole body Sibian. A whole body That's like a full body Sibian. Oh man, the full Apparently. body Sibian. That's going to be a, a new release in the next three years. Apparently, it adds like a lot of resistance to your exercises. So you don't have to work out as much, and you get uh, like a, a increased benefit. I from think it. it's so fucking stupid. That, well, that reminds me of those old like '50s ones with like a belt. <laughs> there it is. Wow, I'm surprised. That's the f- only the first one of the. You guys cast. know what I'm talking about though, like those <laughs> old '50s count, exercising yeah. things where it was like a big band that mm-hmm. would like vibrate. And yeah, I like, know what you're put talking your about. Into it, and it would just like shake your belly back and forth. Oh yeah, that shake your ass. It or looks whatever violent, you, like, put right? Into it. Yeah, it looked kind of. I'm gonna violent, bring a shake like, weight to Sean Blonix here. I think here. imagine it's the same idea, putting <laughs> providing. Dude, resistance. it'll go with my Bowflex. <laughs> and the other one was uh, the Doctor Ho one that made People your muscles twitch. Dude, well, well, I'm doing shoulder press. That's not as old. Yeah, you can then you can work in and start doing some. Uh, some hey sort guys, of like but basically up? people Bowflex have always tricep uh, extension similar yeah. idea I guess people have always been looking for ways to work out without yeah. effort stimulating your muscles <laughs> without moving so I like that's I like, like that uh, Dr. Ho I like the yeah, strap sure thing that you wear and it's just like uh, this mesh that you wear around your torso and it has like pockets so your fat squeezes out and looks like abs oh <laughs> cinch it tighter gotta molding, look more ripped like molded, <laughs> molding your that's fat so gross yeah to give yourself a six pack. Like the softest six pack anyone ever done seen in their life. It works. It works for like you know a, a month or something, and then like oh, no. he's like out for the chick or whatever. The six just pack thing just generally lo- it yeah, loses its tensile strength as the night goes on. You know, like little pockets to start pushing out, start busting out the velcro. Oh. Yeah. It just grosses me out. Is that the Think table? Cinched bloating. up tighter. When one Gotta of those shirts ripped. goes, it probably <sighs> tears the whole damn thing. <laughs> like an explosion. I think the next craze is just going to be a sticker that you wear on your chest without having a shirt on. It just says, my pecs are my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I wear my pecs on the outside. My abs are my yeah. shirt, bro. <laughs> 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 That's my fashion statement. You know, we probably like to work out as uh, that uh, actor that passed away like yesterday, Michael Clark Duncan from Green Mile. He looked like he, he had a strong that bulk. Dude? He had a strong bulk. 
What were you telling yeah. me about his Strong fridge bulk. or yeah. something? That was the only quote that I, I got out of Michael Clark Duncan from this Yahoo article was like about him being a vegetarian. He's like, yeah, man, I cleaned like $5,000 of meat out of my fridge. <laughs> Imagine what kind of a fucking meat locker his fridge was. He's just got like a bunch of swordfish hanging out. It's just in his a walk in meat, meat locker. Lo- locker with like pigs. It's like, fucking. A, it's like a live well with some ahi tuna floating around, just swimming in it, <laughs> just chilling. Or maybe he just Sometimes had some really exotic, locker, like endangered species, and it was just, you know, like just a few tigers and lobsters. It's a, purebred, it's a purebred white person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most expensive meat in the world. He's it. got a wasp in there. It's for Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's terrible. This white person came from an affluent family. They had the best food to eat. (laughs) Fatten up on veal. This kid studied music. He's really tasty. (laughs) Yeah, we played we played the uh, the kid Beethoven for most of his life. Okay, some people play music to their plants. The human version of veal. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, we just like feeding someone and stuffing them. No, the human version of veal would be far more brutal. It'd be like a child gets born and you put it in a box the size of itself. Yeah. And you feed it just enough to grow a l- tiny bit, but not enough to ga- gain enough strength to stand up. <laughs> Enriched titty milk. And then you slaughter it once, you know, it looks big enough to eat. <laughs> Feels pretty brutal. It's a pretty grim outlook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's some things that you don't want to know how they make. <laughs> White people like deserve hot dogs. it. Hmm? You don't know what's in a hot dog, man. Too many no. foods in there. I wonder you don't if, hot, if hot dogs have been ever on how it's made. There's been a few. There's been a it's few. It's like a four-part yeah. episode, four-part <laughs> series. <laughs> yeah. Like, and now, <laughs> when the cow is raised, it's just uh, like an industrial-sized wood chipper. They just start forcing cows off yeah. of, off a plank, like a pirate ship, oh. into. So Last they episode, they just go deep into the cow's life about like all the family he knew back in the day at the farm, and you know they're hanging out, and then fucking he had to get a nail through his head. That and would and all animals in the confessional talking about how great a cow the guy was. Uh, that's didn't why des- he didn't deserve it. I think Gary Larson was one of the best comics because uh, and doing his like visual comics because he always used really good animal characters for his cows. Yeah, a lot. He used a lot of cows. But what if cows? Bears, cows snakes. I remember bears being in it. Bears. Yeah. 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 Did yeah. you guys ever have yeah. those books? Remember when you had like the Scholastic Book Club in fucking elementary school or whatever, and you could get like a book a month. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'd always go for the Gary Larson's. I was always all of the far side. Calvin and yeah. Hobbes, too. The ones that you had to do a lot of reading. Yeah. <laughs> Tons of reading. <laughs> With my eyes Picture of pictures. Reading. Calvin and Hobbes was pretty wordy for a com- for like a comic that book. That was just one of my favorite yeah. comics. Yeah. Oh, no, it was definitely one of the best. Um, I read all the... Uh, they wiz- should make a movie with that, but then they'd probably ruin yeah, it. Yeah, they should. They'd probably just ruin it. I know they d- might be kind of hard to make a movie on. I thought it'd be hard to make a movie of The Life of Pi. I don't know if you read that. I haven't read that. It's about a I boy and a like tiger as well. <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna do boat, it. However, right? the, they show you the oh, best crap. scene of the movie in the trailer. Really? I but hope the, not, because that was well, like thirty seconds. That, so like, in the book, that that's was like the, the best the, part of the book. The, yeah, the weird magical like, island at the end. Where he's on no, the plant, it's the it's plant it's island. A moment between yeah. death and survival. You know, uh, like on the ocean with a yeah. fucking tiger, and is coming to a like armistice. You know, is the hyena still in the boat at that point? What's that? So like in the, it starts off. There's like a tiger in there, a hyena, and there's like a wounded, it's just the two there's a wounded them, animal like as a, well, like a, yeah. gazelle, like a gazelle or something. Yeah, yeah. like a, yeah. Food, a, pre, yeah. a prey animal. And it just dies slow and gets eaten over a couple of days. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. <laughs> gazelle. But um. Yeah, they, it only starts eating part of it at a time to try and rationalize it. <laughs> yeah, it was smart. He'll be, he'll be okay <laughs> if I only eat part of him. Keep it alive, like the veal, right? <laughs> but um, no, I I read a lot of Wizard of Id. <laughs> It's probably a weird one. Not a lot of people have read, and oh, also yeah. um, the BC comics, the Johnny Hart comics. I loved those back in the day. Really simple, uh, black and white line art. I'm gonna pull out all my comics that I still have that I kept that I've just found like recently. Oh, yeah. the hentai ones with tentacle rape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <that's> <laughs> no, I got um, from Korea. I have, like a bunch of X Men and Warlock and the Infinity Watch and like all that kind of shit. Oh yeah, that shit's dope. Yeah. I got a trunk full of old comics and action figures. I uh, I w- I'd like I need an appraiser. I guess Olson would be a good one. Yeah, he'd be the best man. Comics and baseball cards aren't worth shit right now, Espe- or like well, any kind of sports cards. Sports I guess it depends on what it is, though. Yeah, I think you're right, cards. though. Yeah, 
Well, yeah. especially in down times in the economy, everyone tries to sell their shit off, so it yeah. becomes like the commodity becomes a lot less. But it's rare. really just getting reshuffled. It's not like the the money isn't actually being lost. It's well, there was money in it in like the mid nineties, but then Donruss and Upper Deck and all those other uh, card producers started printing just tons of cards in different series, and then they just flooded you know, the market. Yeah, they'd be like, "Whoa, yeah. we'll fucking put some holograms." Well, on you know, when if you bought the Marvel cards back Dude, in the day or whatever, Marvel versus DC, yeah, it was a tight yeah. series. I don't know, my buddy. Isn't uh, that just a video so game? So was Marvel vs. Capcom. Who fucked Capcom? Wonder Woman? Hmm? I was a video game Capcom. I think Warden, cool. Jeff Warden's probably got the best um, collection. Who fucked Wonder Woman? Fucked Wonder Woman. Spider-Man? Who did she, who did she fight? The Invisible Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of who she fought. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. But yeah, it was, it was a cool We don't series. know the trivia. Yeah. yeah. Olsen. But we'll uh, put that one out too. Probably to Olsen, yes. Yeah. Just use our comic, uh, resident comic authority he's comic book right now. <laughs> yeah he's not here i have to add to this but uh, <laughs> shit, what else is going on do you guys do we already talk about uh the mars lander <coughs> uh no however we, glossed over we had it. a um no we didn't we're on actually. mars now again yeah something the size of i've only seen a couple of videos they made the uh they're starting to get better the good ones are starting to come back the computer graphic animation they made of it of the whole landing yeah is awesome that that's gonna it was very hollywood eh it was was. yeah it's gonna a lot of people watched it too Mm -hmm. yeah yeah no i think it's got people interested in space but you know what i've been i've been going back and watching all the lunar landings youtube has 10 minute clips of all the uh old apollo do they they hold up lunar (laughs) landings they're actually way more exciting because you're hearing the communication back and forth between Houston and the capsule. Yeah. See, I so actually... So it's like 400 feet, and, you know, like, like slowly going down, you see the... I the love that. ...coming up. It's actually pretty intense. It's yeah. Like 10 minutes of just, like, be. falling onto the fucking moon. That's what I thought uh, the Curiosity thing was going to be live. Like, I thought we were going to actually... No, no, yeah. ...like, get a transmission of video of it going into the planet live, but that came out, like, three or four days later, and it was, like, a slideshow. Yeah. Kind of. The speed of light just you hear live audio like of Neil that. Armstrong telling Buzz Aldrin to stop whacking off and focus on the landing. <laughs> <laughs> it just yeah. can't happen. Uh, it cannot shit. happen. What I else think everything's like a few minutes behind. School's back. Frost weeks have started across the country. September. No, it's going to be September, right? Yeah. It is September. Yeah. September 3rd or 4th. Third, I think it's 4th today. Yeah. Lost all track of time. Labor Day was just, uh, we just finished the Labor Day long weekend. And uh, yeah. it's pretty nice in town, you know? Got out for... Uh, couple of beach runs no bocce however yeah i made it i made it to the beach real quick will is fucking packed on labor day yeah the parking lot was full (laughs) (laughs) it was crazy it's like the last day of summer well i think like people are like oh crap yeah the worst go to the beach the worst thing better go to willows where it's super windy no it was it wasn't windy at all and you can't see the sunset you can't see the sunset it's true but it's got uh like probably the best sand i'd say yes yeah Yeah. it's one of the nicest actual Sand and a good so amount of it too, like a large Gonzales stretch. Is, pretty is it good there too, naturally, or did Willow's they bring it in? They definitely bring it in. Yeah, it was there naturally at one point, but it eroded. And I think every time they had the uh, the fair, uh, oh, the, tea, the, the tea the tea party, party happens, they yeah, dump. I think they dump extra that sand for the extra erosion that that incurs. Yeah, <laughs> and you know to give the that and they've got quite a few sandy beach rivers yeah. that run off into that beach, like actual just natural little rivers and streams. Yeah, and that shit just takes sand. Yeah, away naturally. That's right. Do you think they'll ever get salmon to spawn in there again? Yeah. In Bowker Creek? Probably. Yeah, that was like the project they talked about. I like think that's possible. Ten years ago or something. I don't know. I think it's just a matter of keeping like oils and other pollutants from the street into leaking in there. Mm-hmm. The stupid kids from throwing bikes and lawn chairs in there. I haven't seen a lot of shit in the creek for a while. I mean, I'm, I guess you see the odd shopping cart from Safeway, but the it's worst, like clogged full of shit. The worst is when you see it get all foamy because somebody put like soap in it or something. I remember seeing that a couple times. Yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, it got pretty nasty for a while until they did the kind of like clean up projects, yeah. you know? Yeah, in like the middle of high school. Yeah, maybe there's a way they could turn. I remember remember seeing like fish in that, really? in that creek. Yeah. That's cool. When I first moved here. I don't think I've ever seen them. Yeah. But yeah. there was like, they're mostly just like the ends, the remains of after the birds that got after them, you know? Right. They well, don't get that close to that. That'd be the okay. best thing we could do. Yeah. Birds Still getting fish is okay. Yeah, that's yeah. natural due process. Yeah. You know, here we go. Three. <laughs> it's the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a little moist on I love yeah. how we now all stop. It's like, okay, fart time. I was going to do a countdown. <laughs> Here we go. It's like three. 
<laughs> it seems more canned. We don't now. need to talk Who about knows the, if it's the real. Mars landings and liftoffs. We no, just I talk feel, about I feel great. Just getting ready to down to the explosion. We can take a picture of my underwear three. after the podcast to prove oh, that. Yeah. The, yeah. It'll be, we'll it'll be just that. as white as the other. I mean, I'm wearing a pair of white boxers, so <laughs> it'd be hard to hide the evidence. <laughs> the proof <laughs> is in the pudding. I'm confident that I haven't shat my pants. <laughs> How confident and are you? And the award you? for clean underwear goes to Ben Fudge. No Hershey squirts here. So farting, yeah, that's something we do during podcasts here. We something do that all the time. I do during my entire life. <laughs> something <laughs> yeah. everyone does. We all do. Hopefully, we just don't so all uh, if you're healthy, we you should be farting. What are you guys thinking about? Yeah, we we I just saw Batman recently. I saw it just before it left the theaters, and uh, I like I enjoyed it, but it wasn't. I should have just set the bar a lot lower. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys did you think it was a good movie or? I came out of it kind of like you, like being like, oh, it's like a seven out of ten, nine out of ten, eight out of ten. It's a good movie but it's not like the best Batman movie. See, I went for a seven first. Yeah, but as time's gone by, I'm like, that movie's really a nine out of ten. The expectations for it were r- really it unreasonable, is. too. Really? A nine? Why were they unreasonable? I don't know if I'd give it a nine. Well, but did you guys uh, like you, the last movie? Well, you got to I mean, look bef- at the whole trilogy, the whole Christopher Nolan trilogy, no, you what don't. he was trying to do with you it. You have to look at the last two that you've seen and expect something that's as good or better. Okay, but um, yeah, we're talking about the same thing. You have to look yeah, at, at, but that, that, at the, the third last one two was movies. Not as good or better than in, the last two. In what way? Like, I'd want to watch it again before talking about yeah, it. Yeah. Because I, I want to bad yeah. mouth it because it was awful. I think the scope of it was, <laughs> it was so, so loud. Huge. The so IMAX many, theater, we saw well, it. And that's it was just not like, the movie's was fault. Was it you two that saw that's, it at the same that's time? That's not or? the movie's fault. That's just a projectionist. Yeah. 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 You both just saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We just saw it about a week ago. Not okay. even. But I'm saying that that's like a spoiler to your experience, right? Sure. It's but that's not the movie's fault. You can't criticize it the movie. True. But I'm that. saying my judgment of the movie will be oh, less okay. because right. of the experience I viewed it in. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Well, like I thought, I thought uh, the Joker was obviously a better villain than Bane. So that, uh, the I, Bat, I, Dark Knight yeah. definitely had that going yeah. for it. Like yeah. But in terms of the plot, I thought it was interesting. I didn't like the ending so much because I wanted to, like, I mean, when I, when, it, okay, spoiler alert. Uh, when I when I see Batman um, sacrifice himself, I'm I'm much more interested in seeing him get defeated by a villain. Um, I didn't expect him to nuke himself like that. <laughs> that was interesting and new. Um, but that wasn't new that at he all. Did? He nuked exactly himself. Well, yeah, because it was just like that, that, was, that was pretty much beaten. A bite off the Adam oh. West fucking Batman. Like really? That, yeah, it was like straight in the movie. He had to get rid of a bomb, a bomb and yeah. almost blows himself up doing it. I thought the new. Pretty, I thought uh, it was kind of like a homage to Adam West almost. Oh, I thought really the new Batwing was pretty that. fucking sweet though. Yeah, it was pretty cool. The helicopter you think? Yeah, whatever it was. However it flew, it was it was sweet. What's that? Oh yeah, however it flew, exactly. Like yeah, I don't really know if it was supposed to be like some the, anti gravity thing. I, I, the action didn't make any sense. There was a lot of scenes that didn't make there was a like couple any in there physical sense. Like, where he's like just where like, like upside down modern, all of a sudden like in the sewer with like Catwoman and they're like getting back into the sewer and all of a sudden he's just like upside down. He's like Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Batman. It's a shame <laughs> we punches didn't, the guy in the uh, face. It's a shame we didn't see any nipple. I love how there's like Catwoman. just always another suit waiting for him somewhere. Like regardless of where the you're in the back cave, there's always like a button he's like and then hydraulics fucking come up and it just like shows you the product shot for a minute and then you're like oh yeah but those are cool nice scenes suit. I love seeing those scenes I, and I love seeing the whole city like the scope of the city and like the football field the and like everything nice. Bane planned out and sort of like how the city crumbled and they got like the mad hatter like being the crazy judge yeah. I thought yeah, that, that was cool. excellent but, uh, when he takes his time to like uh, light the bridge up with his Batman sim- symbol, do you remember that? Yeah, he like pours oil all over oh, the yeah, bridge, the, the and then flaming he's like, Here, Batman like this. <laughs> yeah, you know? like, oh wow, when did you get the fucking time <laughs> to graffiti the goddamn <laughs> fucking yeah, bridge while the, uh, saving the goddamn? He had the Bat Teamsters out world. doing he's the fucking no, work. He's, for he's him. got a gasoline <laughs> stencil that he just yeah. rolls out. <laughs> Batman likes to play with fire. <laughs> Batman has to be a symbol for I, I, Alfred, I just, get me the bat stencil. I thought it just kept piling <laughs> bullshit onto bullshit. Pulls it out of the trunk of the Batmobile and rolls it out on the, on the road. <laughs> and were you guys surprised by the twist? Was anyone actually surprised no, by that? No, I Did wasn't. Did that stun you at all? I kind of I I thought right at the beginning that that was Talia, yeah. like Razzo, yeah. Will's daughter. It but it's also good that they kept that element of the story going from front to back. Continuity. Right? Yeah, the continuity of the Christopher Nolan Batman's intact. At least he got to fuck her. So even if it's, yeah, and even if it's not like hard. But did he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there yeah. was that whole night they had right by the fireplace. You fucking, oh, yeah. You you're fucking good at rammed that. her one. Yeah. She's yeah. poking the yeah, fireplace. Yeah, she's awesome at poking. Oh yeah, you God. fucking rammed her one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the subtleties. No, but I, I, the more I thought about the movie, I was like, they actually, I couldn't, I didn't like 
small character changes like turning Bane from like South American into like this like sort of white like special forces dude kind of Bane but I thought it still worked because he was still super intimidating and Tom Hardy's a good actor the Tom Hardy's every a time great actor. I thought it was Sean shot, Connery like the music's like <laughs> <laughs> that was my first impression the, the too the very Sean first Connery? two lines he has I thought it was Sean Connery with his he's got a bag over his head I was like oh, oh, it, it reminded me of like uh, Celebrity Jeopardy yeah, yeah. yeah it it did Sean Connery like they have to yeah, find like one of our bodies in the wreckage that's pretty much it <laughs> if you plug, <laughs> plug your nose, that is it exactly. You good, plug man. your nose into it's it. Like a Sean there has Connor. to be one of the bodies under the record. No, but do it slower <laughs> and with more breathing. Uh, okay, no, and that sounds just fine. pretty the much exactly like that. There. there has to be one of the bodies found in the record. There you go. All right, <laughs> nice That's dude. Bane. That was you full just did on the Bane, Bane voice. <laughs> and it had the like. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I actually good. loved That's it in good. the movie. Can you imagine I how funny good. that must have been for Tom Hardy? He's just like, the, I'm getting paid to talk like Sean Connery with a mask on. This is pretty good. <laughs> I would be yeah. surprised if he couldn't understand a word he was saying with that thing on his mouth. Like the actual actor. I imagine it was all they overdubbed. Redubbed. They redubbed yeah. the entire yeah. movie. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they would have like to. Four and if you got something over your filters. face like that, you're not yeah. going to be very yeah. fucking articulate. You can't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. seemed pretty uncomfortable. Spoiler alert. It's like Darth Vader. Yeah. Not really Darth Vader. Spoiler alert. I love Earl Jones. I love the uh, what they did with um, uh, Gordon Levitt's character at the end. How he's gonna kind of be uh, the new we Robin found the Bat Commissioner. Oh, the new Robin. Right. Yeah. What's uh? Yeah. What gave him the idea to search for the Bat Cave? There was he just free he's, climbing and found like he was some following shit. Following clues, but I gotta see <laughs> that. <laughs> I have again, to see the movie again. He's got his fucking magnifying Swiss, glass out. Swiss cheese. Oh, like, there's so many holes in the story. It's it's really quite badly written. It's a long movie. Yeah, They're so all I think that there was a lot, of, a lot of a lot of cutting. Three hours. I think there's a lot of cutting to make it down to that time. God, yeah, well, what did they cut? They hey, like well, editing all the room things, floor, all the like Batman taking out his bat stencil and pouring oil yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that was that was, I always liked Hiring. about seeing is like array of suits. Is it made me know which Batman uh, toy I wanted to buy? <laughs> See, like Arctic Batman. Which one was that? <laughs> Well, oh, no, like no, just in kid, any Batman, like, yeah. yeah vanilla cause, uh, I get Batman. Because, yeah. like, if they, like, <laughs> you know, if, if you like a, like a Batman costume toy set, whatever, but if it's in the movie, it has that extra cred, right? Yeah. I like the idea of vanilla ice. So Batman sure. needs to do, like, a Bat-Bat baby song, you know? <laughs> bat, Yo, bat baby. White people will never be cooler than Vanilla Ninja Ice. <laughs> in, yeah, when he's doing oh, Ice yeah. Ice Baby song, and he's in the Mustang, and he puts the, the, the oh, drop no. top down. Go Turtles, go Turtles, go. <laughs> All Vanilla needed was go a turtles, tattoo of Pizza turtles. Hut and Dominoes on his pecs for that fucking you, video. But yeah, but Batman did hunt, crush a bunch of people in a dumpster. That's true. As That's an true. homage to Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, Vanilla Ice was really, really cool white dude for the time. Until Shug Knight hung him out of a windowsill. <laughs> shook him and out. Shook him out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the title records. <laughs> he just held him up like he this and the got right, changed. He wanted the rights to Ice Ice Baby, and he held him out over a window like seven stories up or something. So, yeah, did he so, get so the legend goes. Yeah. I, I'm more than willing to believe it, though, just because it's funny. Yeah. I'm yeah. willing to believe it because the dude had like no money after, and he should have had royalties and shit. But he had to go do like uh, reha- celebrity rehab shows and whatnot. Yeah, he had like, to get into the. Was he on the same one with Vern Troyer? Uh, I think so. Now he has a show oh. about flipping houses. So apparently, all that really? vanilla ca- flipping houses. Yeah, these apparently days? his financial advisor hooked him up, and he's got like a profitable business now. That's actually the worst business to be in right now. Or what? For House like flipping. Exactly when vanilla probably got into. <laughs> 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 like yeah, the like financial crisis in the housing <laughs> bubble in the states. <laughs> Vanilla's <laughs> just destined to if fail. If you have the money, that's probably uh, actually always financially, good of course. Yeah. And whoever told him to get into like uh, metal rap. Too like right after the, uh, the yeah that's right he had a, like a metal career didn't he, he was basically attempted. like taking all the worst advice ever well at least he's still performing Trying something new like he's still he's still uh, making money yeah, off of music book he's doing what he loved I remember Vern Trier running around on a, or being on a Segway and going through the house and like peeing in people's rooms no, and he crying pissed and in like the corner <laughs> of a room he get, the thing is he's so small right so he drink like a glass of wine and talk, be totally fucked up we're talking about mini me in case anybody <laughs> doesn't know. I had no it's idea. It's just it's just a matter <laughs> of volume, like, right? Me? Oh. Like his little on, his little baby stomach can only hold so much. <laughs> yeah, he must just get really pissed, eh? Yeah, goes out. And oh, he's like probably the cheapest drunk. Any, well, like, obviously, well, I don't know. A bottle of wine, dude. That's like <laughs> half his body size. <laughs> and then the guys from uh, Camp Ke- Kill Yourself just fucking beat the shit out of <laughs> out of their midget. They had a real strong midget. Yeah, the, the wee man. Like, wee man, yeah, yeah, that's wee right. man. He's a tough guy. Tough ass midget. Yeah, we man gets hit, hits with bats on the regular, just like <laughs> so he's ready to go. <laughs> he could probably drink more than a glass of wine. He's too. training. He like you know, tolerance still goes. Tightens up. up the abdominal muscles and gets the fucking bat to the the brain. Yeah. 
of his abs, that is. Who the fuck is Wee Man anyway? Is that the jackass dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's jackass yourself. dwarf imp. <laughs> imp. That just reminds me of Game of Thrones. Imps are on the. S- and on Tyrion can drink yeah. lots, so you know, can't all be so just size. They're on the up and up. Tyrion is just thanks for that gangster. character. I mean, yeah. he was fictional. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a fictional character. <laughs> But whatever, no I, still think, I still think I still think your tolerance. He's can like go up. he's definitely one of my favorite characters in the whole show. Yeah, I hope he doesn't die. Yeah, me too. I haven't read through that yet, but he probably will. Ben knows. I'm it's looking at his face right now. He looks kind of sad. Like maybe he died. <laughs> <laughs> the saddest moment. Ever. Probably, probably, probably in like the fifth <laughs> season, though. You know. Yeah, like deep in the show after he's done some shit. Yeah. But well, what more can you do other than s- gonna than match the books spoiler alert? Save the fucking city with like strategy, like. Well, awesome. a bunch of shit, you know, like after season two, like the Lannisters are riding high, so they got to be brought low. And it's yeah. probably it's all about oh. how he deals with recovering from that. A lot yeah. of shit goes down in the third book, like yeah. uh, like Which a lot of pe- right in terms of like before th- in the first two books, like people get knocked off. But a lot of people get knocked off in the third. Book. Holy shit. Nice. Well, hopefully Looking it's all the ones that. that you're like Looking really to hoping <laughs> to see go down. Like some, of, some yeah, yes and all. some no. The for more sure. I read about them, the, the less I like most of them. Yeah, they're all pretty cold-hearted. I was, they all have like a vengeance, and they all want to kill someone. I was upset. Every one of them wants to kill someone. I was upset that Drogo was out so early. I was like, I wanted to see him go over there and kick some ass. Like <laughs> Cal Drogo, yeah, yeah. He was too Hawaiian. <laughs> The Didn't Mongols. It would have been pretty sweet to see him fucking <laughs> swinging around his sword, chopping people apart. I, I thought it was going there. Yeah, I was like, I really actually, was you know what? There, was, there wasn't any scenes of him really fighting other than that one-on-one thing. That but that uh, one was fucking sweet. It I was, was sick. It was choreographed really well, yeah. but he he got uh, poisoned from that wound. And I died know, like a chump, like a pussy, right? With that one little cut. Was it poison? Or, or no, or he, just got, he got infe- he got poisoned by the uh, the healing woman too. Yeah, didn't he? yeah, she definitely fucking bitch. I know. On the show, I really wish she kicked her off a fucking cliff. <laughs> <laughs> she was right there. Yeah, I know. I was <laughs> waiting for it. Uh, Probably thought it was a little bit too much, like three hundred, and decided to back off that. I hope a lot of her followers and listeners watch Game of Thrones and they're caught up, because <laughs> that was uh, five minutes of spoiler action. And Batman too. We're just ruining everything for everyone. I don't know if we really spoiled that much. I, we are, I already said spoiler alert before I talked about him nuking himself. Yeah, which so. is like that's pretty much yeah. get out of jail free. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. I paused for we a little bit. We expect our minute and a half because they're good. Hmm. If they haven't, they gotta watch them. Especially Batman. No, don't watch nine Batman. out of ten. I, I will not <laughs> recommend Batman. That is uh, under really five. I'd say wow. maybe five stars. You hated that movie. I, w- I wouldn't. I I kind of want to watch it again just so that I can find even more things to hate about it. I'm, see, I'm giving it a nine because I'm not gonna pick it apart nine. for its little tiny little. Oh, crap. So I'm what's like an inconsistencies eight? and stuff? I don't care like about the like nine. two second clips of like things that shouldn't be there. You know, like in. No, in I'm the, talking about most of the story is like bad badly written and there's a lot of questions that's why i want to watch it again to, to like write down all the terrible things that oh, there like are the whole there. like bane's origin thing is that what you're kind of i don't know what his origin is they didn't really say where he came from they don't just, really. they just established that you he's think a that you're watching if you the bane leave it origin. blank he was fine, he was fighting in africa you yeah. know killing it's fools when you start adding things styles. onto the story and then some rich oil company found him he was hired to fight us. lions in africa yeah Right. Yeah, yeah, we, took well, over, we took know over he, for Robert Redford and Brad Pitt. We know he trained point? with Rap. What was he even trying to do? Just blow up Gotham City? He was the protector of the chick who was who was doing the plan of Ra's al Ghul, Ra's which, al was Ghul which was to well destroy ba- Gotham City. Well, yeah, for some reason, the entire world wants to destroy Gotham City. Is that like the only it's the population financial, on, it's the, on the planet? It's the financial center. It's like the New York. Right. It's where all the, the racist DC universe. Out. Right. Right? That's why right. I love the stock market scene. I thought that was awesome. Like, Bane going in there and stealing codes and just being so that, bold. Oh my god! And then they came out of the stock market yeah, with cool. four motorbikes. Yeah, but they went <laughs> yeah. in yeah. on feet. You don't know how Where the motorbikes got there. Where did they get the fucking motorbikes? Never heard of a stock bike? <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, sorry. That was so yeah. Stupid. When it, they're in there, when a trader so really stupid. needs to get blow, he just oh, hops on one of the motorcycles. We're just gonna park these four motorcycles here. Don't don't mind us. Like, <laughs> could have been a giveaway. We're not arousing. I don't know, I don't any know how suspicion. I don't know how you can look at that movie and in the first like 30 seconds not be impressed by I it. I think I liked about the first hour of it. Well, it they started, started with Harvey Dent. The first line, and I was like, worse and Harvey Dent. Get worse can you be trusted? That's all I was thinking going into the movie, and they started with Harvey Dent. It was really? Great. Yeah, it was, oh, like, oh, it was a perfect sweet. bridge in yeah. your mind. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Mental math. Like, mm. last one, Harvey Dent. I think Harvey it started Dent. well and, and yeah. turned sour. Hmm. I think the first half hour is probably the best part. I like the airplane scene. Yeah, the airplane scene. The airplane scene was pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, that was unrealistic, but I, I don't necessarily that want That fart realism. was unrealistic. 
but it was real, and I witnessed it. It's definitely not CG. But we were here. <laughs> Audio doubler. Audio generated Audio. by Ben's asshole. Yeah. Made macaroni and cheese I'll, uh, tonight. I'll, I'll post a full in-depth those? criticism of my farts. I think, um, uh, I think our, West Coast High Life our Vancouver correspondent, Natty Reed, is going to be putting up a movie blog soon. Oh, good. So he's going to become nice. a resident Does movie he like, expert. Did, what did he think of this movie? I haven't talked to him about it. We should we should get him on the show and find out. I'm guessing he's going to think it's crap. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell with him. It could go either way. But if you take our average, then it would be like a seven. But nine? Like, what's... I have to balance out your high. five. That's I have to balance out your five. Though, five is real low. Seriously, a nine? Like, what's, what's an eight? What's a ten? What's a five? What's like, a ten? What's a six for you? Like, the ten like is Five is, like, down. not even a pass. Six almost. is, like, romantic comedies. <laughs> you're rating like it behind. Lower than Christmas. a rom-com? <laughs> Christmas movies. You're, 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 you're you know, rating it behind, like, like, a Tom Arnold movie. Well, man, that Sleepless in Seattle was a good movie. Exactly. It was, Yeah. Okay, close. It's maybe. Like, yeah. Are you saying <laughs> that? <laughs> that <laughs> are you maybe pulling up to a five, four, saying, or five? Are you saying Jingle All the Way was a better movie? No, oh, no. Tim I'm Allen. just saying like. But Save the Last Dance the was hi- the highest yeah. that a really good romantic comedy is gonna line. get is probably like six. If Hugh Grant's in it. Yeah, yeah. Four weddings and a funeral. I could watch Step Up 3D all day, every day, and not be upset. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was like a straight to DVD, DVD? Now, wasn't it? What the fuck? Yeah. How did they still make that straight to DVD? I don't know. There, there's crap. a new Step Up movie made. The Step Up goes to step Miami, to where it's different when they dance. Bring it on, <laughs> eight. Where it's different. Yeah. No, I haven't really bought into the whole 3D thing. Like, I specifically hit, hit, pound went the to yard or whatever. Hit the yard. Pound the yard. <laughs> 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 what? What is this movie? Something like that. Mm. It's just a movie about being in jail. <laughs> Stomp the yard. Stomp the Stomp yard. Yes. Yeah, sorry. They sorry. start. St- they started doing a drum line in jail. I think that's the movie. I, l- I left before the pounding began. The, the sequel Miracle probably Mile? to Drumline, where all the char- main characters that movie where they're in from prison. the inner city are now prison in prison. Prison guards <laughs> versus the uh, inmates. Fudge, you probably know that one. Prison guards versus Joey the Diaz inmates. was in it. It was a classic one. They remade Oh, uh, it. It The Longest one, Yard. The Longest Yard, yeah. I actually haven't seen that's the remake. Apparently, that. Burt Reynolds I is saw the original with badass Burt in it. It's really? That's yeah, movie. Burt Reynolds. See, now that probably like gets a like a six. That, that gets movie. like a six or a seven. I don't know what he gets thrown in jail for. I think it's just something like being a badass, like drunk driving or like fucking too many girls or something like that. <laughs> He's getting thrown in jail for alimony. <laughs> alimony. Alimony, bro. Burt Reynolds got thrown Burt. in jail. It's probably like parking tickets or something back, stupid. Back then it was like a way lower standard of like something doing something bad. Like fingered yeah. a girl in church and got yeah. thrown in jail. Yeah. Now he has to be the star quarterback of the inmates. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that seemed like Ronnie the movie Sass? that like uh, Michael Clark Duncan was in too in the remake. The Green Mile. Yeah, the Green Mile. Did you guys see the Green Mile? A Stephen King book they yeah. made. Uh, John yeah. John Calvi. It. Yeah. It's so fucking sad. Like the whole movie. It's so so now what would you rate that? Too. It's sad and now racist. Would you rate that higher, the Batman, or lower? Wow. Well, I bet if we looked it's up, probably higher. Uh. Yeah, it's probably it's a much better movie, right? Well, it's now it's what is that a nine point two? Like Tom Hanks how, was how in it too. How could Batman get nine? Well, no I'm wiggle room it. above nine. I'm I'm Tom Hanks was not in Batman. For me, because I wasn't he. That would have got it out to a nine for most people. <laughs> yeah, if he played oh no, fuck Gary Oldman. Tom Hanks has to be a symbol for the people. <laughs> <laughs> or Nick Nolte could be a good Batman. Fuck. Drunken Batman. I wonder what Hulk Hogan was doing. I wonder if he could have been a good Batman. No, the Green Mile. Batman's got to be a symbol, dude. (laughs) Hulk Hogan like broke ass on the side of a highway with paying alimony. None of Hulk Hogan's (laughs) movies are over fifty percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I bet (laughs) for good reason. (laughs) I bet the Green Mile's at like close to a hundred. I bet Batman Three is probably uh, somewhere in the upper eighties. I bet bet it's in the eighties. Eight eight point five. Yeah. Really? The this most recent one? Probably. Yeah, That's the yeah. first one's probably the rated. No, the second one's probably rated the highest. The people of Gotham don't want to kill each I other, guess the brother. It's the best of the of the three. They're all um, they're all different. They all have different themes, but the second one because of Heath's Joker, yeah, it's always going to be rated the best. Because yeah. of Heath Ledger's yeah, Joker, he, he's good, and I and yeah, yeah. I wish. I like it how he was t- take, taking a beating from Batman in the interrogation room and laughing the whole time. Yeah, I like the it whole. Was sick. I like the whole like physicality though of Bane and like the fighting and I kinda how like it was Bane. like it was I, like this UFC like I, I thought fight. I wouldn't like Bane yeah, I, was actually, was actually I thought like Bane was a pretty intimidating some, some grappling character. going on I yeah. thought he was a pretty good villain actually yeah. Catwoman is like always the same since, yeah like the old I thought Michelle Pfeiffer's, Pfeiffer's Catwoman was better or Halle Berry's Catwoman I've never they've seen all, that they're one they're all the same like tight they're leathers, Dark Knight Rises got an 8.9 on IMDb nice what did it get 
8.9 on IMDb. Point that's 8. almost 9. a 9. So that's what you gave it. So what did Green Mile get? Uh, I'm Green Mile's probably like higher. relative here. Maybe. 9.2, 9.3. Because I think it's his, that guy's best movie. But this is IMDb, not Rotten Tomatoes. That's true. 8.4. No. Hmm. I don't this think is IMDb. It, okay, it'll, well, it'll, here, here, it'll here, go here, up. Here, here. Green Mile's going to go up now that uh, the actor died. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the movie's also in theaters now. Like, I think it's going to go down. Right. Batman's. It'll balance out. Yeah. It's just like popular now. Well, Green Mile on uh, Rotten Tomatoes got something like, fuck, what was it? Loading time 93%. Tomato meter at 80. Hmm. There you go. Now, dude. Now off. Rotten Tomato. Now, now I'm curious one. to do Batman Dark Knight Rises <laughs> as a comparison off actual Rotten Tomatoes because that seems to be our yeah. standard. And okay, I don't know why Rotten Tomatoes it. became a standard, but it's sort of because it, it aggregates is so many. 87, 87, Tomato 92. Meter. So higher, higher, right? Higher than Green yeah. Mile. Yeah. Wow. Well higher. And also because people can submit their own ratings and it gets it's it, the last it gets counted in. It's the last Nolan as opposed to just Batman right, movie, the, movie writers or whatever. That trilogy's probably made more than any other trilogy in history. Lord of the Rings? No, Batman. The Batman, the Christopher Nolan trilogy. You think it made more than the Lord of the Rings? Oh, well, well, was Spider Man original like box office no. only? Or, or are you talking about Batman's bigger series, than Spider Man? Yeah. Yeah. I think, but I don't know about Lord of the Rings because they have so much swag with it, right? Like, so yeah, much the, like, like I, I don't even know how much that movie's the made. Merch, the, merch? Oh, the yeah. merch, the merch, the merch alone, merchandising. Oh, yeah. No, oh, no, we're, we're, we're just talking box office. But box office, I think Batman might have might have beat Lord of the Rings, possibly. But Lord of the Rings had Titanic like takes Lord it. of the Rings had the greatest release dates. It was always like around Christmas time, so you could go see the whole movie, the movie with your whole family. And uh, I think that yeah, right, if you yeah, don't, the, if the you don't hate your family, also or if you're a, Jewish, an important time. <laughs> right. So yeah, I think that helped there's a always, lot. I actually think I'm there. almost ready to upgrade my can, my tan level from California Jew to um, it, it did. Is there a Mexican the in Arizona your family? Arizona <laughs> <laughs> Immigrante. <laughs> to, to immigrate <laughs> I'm close I'm close Four, Four more shades Is f- full immigrant <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Just uh, shades of immigrant. Fresh off Spend the your bus. next two weeks Down at the beach Fresh off the boat <laughs> Yes Where are we at for time here? Uh, we're at uh, 48 minutes Feels a lot longer Than <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> So you can yeah, leave any time. <laughs> yeah, you can fast forward. You can skip this video. You can watch porn. You can do whatever you like. I really wish you guys were into uh, NFL football because I'd love to uh, love to get into that. Draft week, eh? Draft I week. No, preseason's over. If regular oh, season starts on that. Sunday, and I'm real I'm excited about it. Is it, bros? All yeah. right, I'm down. Actually, I'm I think down. I think it, they I might. I still would be able to talk about it, but I'd watch it. They might have. I'm going <laughs> to call you sports bro. They might have it put aside. I think they might I have like it for football. Tuesday, September. Actually, your hockey, kickoff, bro. Actually. Like hockey yeah. Yeah. I hope yeah, it's Sunday, though. Yeah, we'll talk about that. What yeah. else? Oh, what something starts on the 11th? Oh, uh, Suns yeah, of, wait Suns. till October 11th. You guys can start a separate sports podcast. Sons of Anarchy <laughs> gets uh, rebooted on the 11th this month. Really? They're, nice. they're going to restart it? Is Jack's going to be a, a child, and we're going to find out how he got all <laughs> tough <laughs> in the bank <laughs> fighter gang? Yeah. A prequel. Yeah. Oh, Sons of Anarchy begins. They're milking that thing so hard. I'm glad I stopped watching it when I did. Which was right when the baby got sold. And I was like, this whole exactly. thing's revolving around exactly. a fucking baby now. I totally yeah. the same thing. Someone Fuck would just throw that. that baby in a fucking lake and be done with it. They've killed 25 <laughs> guys and they care about like one baby. They should change the lyrics of the first part of the song to... Uh, Jack is baby. This is a soap <laughs> opera just for man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they took the WWE after the next level. This is No, it's a huge soap opera. And the thing is... Um, because it's done by FX, they can't really go all the way like HBO can, so they can't really show like the extreme types of violence, and they have to like mm. kind of skimp on the sex a little bit, Censorship. so it doesn't really hit as hard as it could. It's fucking bullshit, man. It is. I want to see some fucking well, vag it's on Showtime. <laughs> <laughs> is that why Game of Thrones is so successful? Yes, it's probably one of the reasons. In action, definitely part of it. HBO. You're like, whoa! I don't get Kids to see this on any other show. Really. Watch it here. Yeah. In Home season three office. of Game of Thrones, there's yeah. probably the most uh, interesting one-on-one fight that uh i read Ooh. about in the whole series and that's uh the mountain versus this character that hasn't been introduced yet oh really a new yeah. character in the book eh? yeah sweet but uh the if, mountain, it, fuck. It, yeah if they if they choreograph that scene it's even half as well as it's written it's going to be it's going to be really really fun to watch. My, my favorite character in the whole show so far other than the sword trainer guy is um 
<laughs> it's, uh, that's what they, that's, that that's guy. What they like, cast him as too when you see him in the credits. Oh yeah, the sword trainer, really? sword trainer guy. You it's know, he's got a name. Sword <laughs> trainer guy. Yeah. Not today. Yeah, totally right. And but uh, the the other the other guy from the city that the the, the little girl was staying in, the assassin Beagle dude. More goals or whatever. Uh, Beagle the, Morgans. The, the bra- Bravos. Guy? In season Bravos? two. Yeah, Bravos. I think. Jack Jack are. Jack or something or other? Yeah. Wait, the well, I don't know what he's from some faraway place that Bravos, he just crazy Bravos, like yeah. uh like magic to change fa- your face. Guy, face change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Faceless assassin. You can't see me face guy. Assassin, Dude, like how called. crazy is that? Name three people uh to like it's knock badass. off and I'll kill them. Like that's that's it. It's that simple. Like just do it. And he does it like pretty much every time, right? So without doubt. Or yeah. he does. Yeah, Arya's story arc takes a Takes a change. Re- yeah, it really drastic change. change it's yeah. like the most interesting yeah. story arc in a way. Like for her to be there, with they well, like they did change it quite a bit. That's pretty cool. But that's Ari. Yeah, Ari, Ari Gold. Ari. Ah, oh. is that a fucking series? In over? No, they're making Montrage is done. Thank you. There's a movie in the Good. works. No, the series, the TV show, is shows done. Concluded. They're gonna do oh, a gonna film do a movie. Yeah. Oh really? I don't know. How about ironic that. is that? Pack your That's bags for the a Entourage movie. movie. A, a movie about a movie star. Entourage yeah. goes to Monaco. <laughs> Hopeless yeah. followers. That's Just almost like uh, like totally. a Saved by the Bell movie or something. It's like not worthy yeah, of a wake theater. Up in the morning. Like that was one of the best <laughs> Halloweens ever. We all dressed up as members of uh, Saved by the Bell. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I went as Screech. Screech Powers. <laughs> I, I crushed Pussy that night. And too. Uh, Fudge went as AC Slater. And yeah, we, like dyed his hair black. Yeah, I like Dar- Darcy. Oh yeah, that was dyed that, my um, hair black. Yeah, that was Fuck, hilarious. That stuff stank. Dude, that hair dye everywhere. stinks so yeah. fucking yeah, bad. It's just bleach. You can tell it's bad chemicals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but hey, you got for, you got to go for the role, right? You got to do it that night. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I, you I looked so, like you had a greasy Jerry girl. I looked more like a greaser from a little bit. What's that? Uh, the, outsiders. the outsiders, that's right. Then, uh, yeah. then I did Slater because I didn't have any curl in my hair. But I mean, I still I sold it pretty good. Yeah, that yeah. was hilarious. And then uh, we had Zach Morris with us. Yeah, and you had the cell phone, the Zach yeah. Morris cell phone. <laughs> yeah, that was key. Yeah. I had one of those. I remember, uh, it was San Francisco sold those. That was another good day. buttons and bows story. party. Do they still have the store, San Francisco. Yeah, they have something they like that. Oh cool yeah, shit. San Francisco. That yeah. was a cool store. There was lots of those. <laughs> you go in there yeah. and it's just it's fucking that's garbage. That probably still exists. Yep, Good. they got uh, San Francisco seeing is believing. <laughs> All these uh, people going to throw us, start sponsoring the podcast. They should sell, like, they just started selling bongs. Or maybe I just noticed them as I got older when I'd walk in there. But in San they Francisco? The store. But they should have always sold those, right? Yeah. San Francisco's their name. <laughs> like, sell bongs. I think they always did. I it was always, like, black like lights and stuff. But shit. you didn't always see them there. I think you, I think you buy, like, uh, naked lady posters there, too. Yep. Naked they have everything. They have, like, yeah, so yeah, much random good. novelty. Random novels. Disco random balls. <laughs> Glow in the dark shit. I think it changed like every store. You couldn't, you wouldn't Found always find the same things yeah. in different stores. They all sold different crap. But now the internet. No, we don't carry that brand of fake <laughs> dog turd. You're going to yeah. have to go to the other location <laughs> for that. Like, sir. Yeah. If you want <laughs> fake dog turd, you can order it off the internet. No, man. Astro Jacks. Ever try those things? Those Never cool. even heard of What's that? What? No. Astro Jacks. Explain. It was like, it was like um, three rubber balls. And they were all connected with a string that ran through it. And so you'd like go up and down like a yo yo with it. Three balls with a string that runs through it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> T- it's tied onto the. <laughs> you thinking onto what the I'm one. thinking? <laughs> so, yeah. Three balls <laughs> on the end of the string. Go so on into Mother's Dad's sex edible? toys are at a young age. Right? Astro Jacks. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> are we talking about butt plugs? This is like, it's like a yo yo. Oh, it's a toy. It's a, it's it's a, a child's toy. It's a child's toy. I see how Astro Jax took you that far away. How could you get this confused? It's, it's, it's called Astro Jax. Yes. <laughs> it can child's fit play. inside a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Easily. 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 Is it a choking hazard? Uh, no. Well, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Surely. That's probably why they take it off the market. Probably. Oh, they're not on the market. <clears throat> There's no fun toys anymore because they'll have to well, be so safe. Well, I haven't safe. seen it. I haven't seen it. I haven't been. Where Astro Jacks just like <laughs> like some companies' <laughs> way of hyping up Jacks like to make them cool again. Probably. And yeah. they're called like Space vir- Jacks. Then the, the, the late, yeah, <laughs> the late super 90s, cool they were called jacks. Virtual Jacks. Yeah. And in like virtual. 2004, it was it like Extreme Pog. Jacks. Extreme Jacks. No like fear. That totally worked with Pog. <laughs> Pog was like an old 50s fad. Pog. Pog. Really? Pog. Yeah. Pog is the word. Milk, they probably milk caps. Yeah, there you go. They made it out of something that was actually like Pretty being recycled too, or something. But, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. they, but yeah, they the probably milk cut milk trees down just bottles, to make yeah. Pogs in totally. the 90s. Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They Simpsons turned it into Pogs a consumer especially. Yeah. product. Love those ones. Yeah, you're supposed, collectors. To, you're supposed to find like somebody else's garbage and turn it into a product. Hula and then you're hoops, they're also big now. Hula hoops, they were probably, no, they were never industrial garbage. Can't yeah, they always were. What were they? That's pretty much all they were. 
just plastic molded. The, the tube, though? Yeah. But, but they are made purposefully to become a hula hoop. Oh, oh, I what see. I mean, not it's recycled. Like, yeah, 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 you take something yeah. that's already The original produced. hula hoop. The prototype was probably recycled crap. Yeah. Whoever came up with the, the idea. The father of this hula hoop I'm sure that's a very good mu- movie. They needed something to make animals jump through and stuff. Isn't there a fucking movie about the invention of the hula hoop? The, the wheel Am for I the hamster and shit like Before that. Before it was just like a burning square. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This isn't working. Too many animals are dying. You gotta use a circle. <laughs> a lot of them are getting caught on the bar. Who thought of making a square? rectangle to do a burning uh, <laughs> <laughs> obstacle for animals to jump through? This was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> we need a new hamster. We need to Killed open this up. One. <laughs> They're just chucking hamsters <laughs> through a burning rectangle someone's holding. <laughs> Munchy. This show really loses its appeal after the third hamster. <laughs> Is Fear Factor done now because they tried to make yeah. someone eat donkey jizz? Well, they didn't make really? anyone do anything. Yeah. The, yeah, last, I mean, the, gotta, the last challenge was like... No, man. You could they put a gun to your head and they make you do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's in, the new yeah, Fear Factor. Awesome. They take the donkey jizz and inject it into your ball sack so that you <laughs> ejaculate... So your next jizz. ejaculation is is a mule. No, kick. the the challenge is you had to like you had to drink like five hundred milliliters of of urine or sperm from a donkey. Whoa! That's like everyone this. chose sperm. That's like this. everyone. Everyone. And then uh, they didn't air the episode, but TMZ got a hold of the footage and then aired it, so they canceled the show because they were getting too much heat. Where people just throwing out that, that information is courtesy for, of the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> yeah. Joe Rogan must hate that little TMZ guy. Probably wants to punch him in the yeah, face. Yeah, that guy was apparently like a, he was a lawyer. Yeah, a one air time. quotes for uh, the People's Court. He's always drinking something out of a cup, dun which dun makes dun me think he, he's lean. always boozed. So you know, so he's always drinking purple. Well, I'm confused. Like a another, purple drink? another channel <laughs> leaked the footage, and the original channel got yeah. TMZ up got a hold of the footage. I guess someone that was on the crew or working d- on the time. editors at yeah. Fear Factor sold the footage off for some cash. Uh, so was like, was there like a Mexican dude there jacking off? They were donkey just gonna or? edit it out. <laughs> no, Joe, Joe said the, to get the donkeys to come, they donkey shoved a cattle show. prod up the of the oh, donkey's wow. ass. Oh, see, that's the worst. And that's it shocked it into shooting a load. <laughs> that seems cruel. That's like that's naked lunch, though. Who knows, man? Maybe it's like the donkey's best orgasm ever. Maybe it's gonna spend <laughs> all of its life wondering how to get that feeling back. <laughs> donkey get, show. Get. Love and feel. You, you, you just imagine, like, like <laughs> inadvertently, like t- nuzzles an electric fan and is like, "Oh shit, oh shit!" <laughs> like, li- physician saw so I can lift its rear leg and try and sit its asshole on the electric fence. That's, that's so fucking weird. They have like a prostate gland up in there too, or something. The same wiring, I guess. I guess so. Well, that's a lot of donkey So for you, those of you listening yeah. at home, and you're like, "How do I make this donkey come?" Now you know. Now you know. Yeah. First, you need to buy a cattle prod. Well, I mean, you have First to. First, you need a donkey. Can donkey? you buy one of those? <laughs> you, might be, you might be able to improvise <laughs> a cattle late. prod. First, you do need a donkey. Yeah, you know, I was watching the Austin Powers trilogy, and Mike Myers got his Shrek voice from Fat Bastard. Nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah definitely Shrek was I'm actually sure he always fat. had his Scottish he voice He says donkey Fluence once in it. Fat Bastard. No, exactly. Fat Bastard is donkey. Is donkey. Like, like, like he, well, exactly right. He's actually a person. <laughs> <laughs> he was cast in the voiceover. Right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what people think about Mike Myers. Like he's so good at characters, but he just hires people that look like him. <laughs> he didn't even need to look like him. It was a cartoon. Oh yeah, it was just a fat guy. Could have just been some guy in a room oh, yeah. talking. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't need to be Mike Myers. <laughs> no, it wasn't Mike Myers either. It was <laughs> Fat Bastard. Fat Bastard. <laughs> there was a different one. But he was uh so he was actually fat then. Yeah, he's just a fat guy. I bet yeah. studios can't wait to like have a fourth one. Can you imagine the day when they cast Shrek for the fat Austin guy Austin on Powers. set you and there's just like a thousand really, really obese people waiting in line to get into the yeah, studio? That probably to happens to, to be all fat the And then it turns yeah. into a conveyor belt that just shoves <laughs> the fat people into an incinerator. They're like lowering the cost of Medicare in the States by millions. Millions. No, but generating they, they electricity yeah money. lots of electricity it'd be electricity. cool if you could if you could uh, turn if you, it'd be cool if you could do the same thing hook. the same principle in the matrix and just hook a fat person up to a battery and have them power something until they were skinny and yeah. then they could like disconnect you'd be like sorry dude it's gonna cost you a year of your life to get the weight off yeah. but you will be having extra years of your life after you get all this weight off yeah if and you get off your body heat and your battery and, and your electricity do you think shit. they'd cryogenically freeze you and then, like, suck fat? the fat out of if you. If you're fat? While they're sucking the fat out of you. No. Why would they do that? It's too. Why would they bother? It's too expensive. They yeah. just lipo it. Yeah. Damn. They just suck it out. They should just make, uh, they should make, like, phone booths that have lipo in them. Oh, 
for those. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that you can make a long distance call and get liposuction yeah at the same and then, time. then some dude makes all these 1-800 lipo makes all the fight club soap out of the fat people fat hey, we're gonna crush all the fat out of you I wouldn't be able to make any phone calls <laughs> <laughs> like none <laughs> zero <laughs> slightly distracted <laughs> it's yeah. like that movie that alien movie what we just watched where it has like the self uh Prometheus? Surgeon? Yeah, Prometheus. Where yeah. It's got like oh, the fuck. surgery box. I can't believe I. The, that I movie is the whole summer was Biden. Can you imagine that? Like, that was way better than Batman, in my opinion. And, yeah, well, Ridley yeah. Scott, sci fi. We don't get very many good sci fi movies anymore. Although it was a prequel to Aliens, but. You know, yeah. Well, I didn't know that going in. Yeah, I didn't until I f- until like a week after I saw the movie. <laughs> That's like, fucked oh. up. How could you not know that? I don't know. I just don't didn't, you read I didn't, the internet. I didn't, I didn't do any reading before. <laughs> I just streamed it, and I was like, "This movie's a lot like Aliens." You know, <laughs> it's fucking retarded. This is boring a little too heavily from Aliens. I think they stole some Wait, material. Over the creatures. Here. Are, oh yeah, it's the same. <laughs> My favorite part of the movie actually uh-huh. is at the front. They have these two things. You'd like it, Alex. And there's these these spherical sensors, and they put it up and it shoots this laser around it and just flies through this temple and maps it out. Oh yeah. That's dope. We, orbs, it did, yeah, it looked really have cool. That already. Tracking orbs sort of like, mapping. I saw this thing on Ted where this guy has a laser he can fire in different parts of a building and give mm-hmm. like a completely that, that accurate That definitely exists. Yeah. Um, yeah. Temperature yeah. reading, yeah. No, no, not temperature reading. Distance. It gives it gives you oh, a, yeah. an exact um Diagnostic? scale replica yeah. but yeah. If so you're standing in one place you And you're saying like in terms of like preserving like old like sculptures and shit but it like has that. to be a straight hit right like he's, there's no you must have to walk around the building like yeah like it's, it's like you know degrees, like you right? know like a, how a surveyor sets up with this yeah. tripod and his like mm-hmm. scope. yeah yeah scope well it's like that except i think he took like three of them or four of them around like a structure and That's they all dope. fired on it and you got like cool. a like i said a completely exact um you dimension should do that with like the statue of liberty and whatnot he'll need bigger you lasers do with my dick <laughs> <laughs> we'll need bigger lasers <laughs> And then 3D print it. Well, there's a over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to all your friends for presents on their birthday. Have Here, I got you my dick. <laughs> <laughs> funny if you just started wirelessly <laughs> printing out pictures of your dick on other people's computers. No, I mean actually 3D printing it. Like a mold of your dick. Yeah, yeah. Like a full-on replica. <laughs> <laughs> they start selling those at trade shows, it's man. My dick, What's baby. this? Hey, man, that's me. I'm pretty sure that's existed for a long time. <laughs> what? Molding, dick molds, molds of yeah, dicks. yeah, yeah but not but 3D printing. Dirk Tickler, bro. Yeah, without well, putting the plaster of Paris exists, on your I'm dick. Sure, I'm sure ever since 3D printed started, <laughs> someone printed off a mold of a penis. It's probably the, se- the first or happened. second someone thing. rubbing their hands times. together, just being like, I can't wait to print <laughs> oh, this <yes>. shit off. <laughs> 3D. I got my KD in the microwave and my dick in the printer. Can't wait to, three, <laughs> can't wait to 3D print a friend. <laughs> well, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> that's an hour. an hour we uh we got here for a little uh 12th <coughs> podcast at the west coast high life uh we're gonna hit you guys up again with another one pretty soon we always talk and about having uh, a website up and we're gonna actually do it soon do it. and just we're gonna have it. just go on our youtube page we're gonna have 3d models of our dicks yeah and uh post haste <laughs> and <laughs> eventually ceramics eventually we'll start charging uh, a dollar a head Mine to come listen to these one. live and uh mm-hmm. We were talking about maybe Live. having a camera <laughs> under the table where you can see our dicks for like an extra five bucks. Yeah, what'd you call it? The fishbowl cam. The fishbowl. <laughs> the fishbowl cam. Or for <laughs> a dollar, you can download it. Or 99 cents, you can download our dicks on iTunes. The rusty 3D print badge. them. Boom. <laughs> All right, well, you guys check that out on iTunes once we get it hooked up. We'll see you again for another West Coast High Life. Later, fags. <laughs>